Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video, we will study about reverse osmosis, plant shutdown procedures, and the sequence. Plant shutdown, shutting down a reverse osmosis plant system is an important operation and operator must be completed correctly. If this operation is not done correctly then water quality and performance issues may be affected once the system is restarted. RO train is shut down according to a detailed sequence, and also the sequence can be either be performed by the operator or by a RO train shutdown sequence implemented in the DCS. Reverse osmosis plant shutdown procedures Shutdown of RO system with flushing, shutdown of RO system without flushing. Shutdown of RO system with flushing, flush the system by RO permeate water, ensure that the concentrated water is completely removed from the pressure vessel. At this time, concentrated water conductivity equals permeate water conductivity. Flushing is done to avoid any scaling and fouling of the membranes when the RO units stop. RO system shutdown sequence of without flushing. Shutdown sequence, during RO train in full load operation. Shutdown sequence, step 1, close the feed control valve FCV1. Gradually to decrease the feed flow and thus the permeate flow. Shutdown sequence, feed flow start decreasing gradually. Shutdown sequence, step 2. At the minimum flow of 60 cubic meters per hour at FT1, stop the high pressure pump and close the feed control valve FCV1 completely. Pressure in the RO system will drop slowly to around 28 bar. Shutdown sequence, the recovery will decrease to zero and thus also the brine concentration is decreased already to feed levels. Shutdown sequence, continue low pressure and high pressure PX flow for two minutes to flush out the concentrated salt solution with feed water. The HPPX loop is still operating. Shutdown sequence, step 3. Decrease the frequency of the booster pump gradually and stop the pump at 20%. Shutdown sequence, step 4. Decrease the flow through the brine control valve FCB2 gradually and close finally the valve. Shutdown sequence, step 5. Close RO inlet valves V1 and PX inlet valve V2. Also close permeate valve V3, reverse osmosis plant shutdown sequence, completed, note, depend on shutdown duration preservation and RO flushing to be done on on regular interval. Thank you for watching this video.